Hello, welcome. We see some numbers towards the end of the bar. There, there should be a pitch size and commonly one of these four sizes. So on the bar, it should say either quarter, three eighths, 0.325 or 0.404. And if we take a look at this particular bar, we can see three eighths stamped to it there. What actually is the pitch size? What does it mean? Well, if we take any given rivet on a chain, it's the distance between this one and the third consecutive one along divided by two. So let's say the distance between these two points is three quarters of an inch. And so the pitch is simply three quarters of an inch divided by two equals three eighths of an inch. So this is a three eighths pitch. And taking a look at our bar, we can see we've got 0.050 the gauge size. Well, the gauge size is the width of the chain's drive links. The gauge size can be any one of the four following measurements, and they are 0 0.043 of an inch, 0 0.050, 0 0.058 or 0 0.063. Now these numbers, as well as the being stamped on the bar as imperial, so in inches, they're also sometimes stamped on there in millimeters, so metric as well. So to explain, I'll turn this chain upside down and then bring it in closer. And so this is a drive link and it's the width of this drive link that's the gauge size. Basically, it's the part of the chain that runs down the groove of the bar. So it's got to be the right size for the groove. But this particular bar isn't just giving us the imperial measurement. It's also giving us the metric equivalent, the 1.3 millimeters. This particular bar is very descriptive and has real good information. But unfortunately, not all bar manufacturers are this good at giving out information. In fact, there's a little symbol there representing the groove in the bar. So the manufacturer has gone a long way to make it unmistakable that this is the gauge size. So the third and final important piece of information relates to the drive links. And looking at our bar, it's 72. And again, the manufacturer of this bar being very descriptive, there's a diagram next to it of a drive link, making it clear that this number means 72 drive links is needed for the chain to fit this bar. But I have come across many bars that only have the number, and it's quite confusing as to whether this is relating to the drive links or not. Depending on the brand of bar, so the manufacturer, I've seen it listed as some of the following. So let's just keep the example of the drive link number being 72. As we've already seen, it may well be indicated that it's a drive link number by having a symbol of a drive link in front of it like this. So you know for definite that this is the drive link number. And other ways I've seen it listed is having the drive link number, then followed by DL, of course, meaning drive link. And another way I've seen it listed in the past, but not so common, is the drive link number followed by E. And if you take a look in the description below, there's a link there to my website where there's a free download summarizing the information in this video. Once you've downloaded it, you can print it off and study it at your own pace, take it into the workshop, whatever you need to do. And I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon.